another review for the Railway Model Store. Today we're taking a look at one of our bundles we currently have available, uh, which contains a LSWR Terrier and a pair of LSWR coaches. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I've previously done a video on Hornby's Terrier before, uh, so we won't be going into it in too much detail, but if you do want to see a more detailed review, uh, then I'll leave the link in the description for a review of uh, another Hornby Terrier. But we'll take a bit of a look, as always. I'll have a little bit of, little bit of an overview. Uh, so as you can see, LSWR Terrier is on the front here. You can see it's number uh, 735. It says down in the corner there as well. Your standard O-Gage My Railway logo. Uh, Pick the train on the roof. Uh, you've got your SKU on this side, which in this case is R3846. It's DCC Reading with a six-pin code, I believe, and a body box on this side. Ways. You just slide it out, sometimes it's tougher to get out than others, I don't know why that is. Uh, and then you've obviously got the plastic insert uh, inside, more cardboard. Uh, these have been a real pain today. Anyway, you slide that out, uh, we've got the instructions, uh, and then in here obviously we have the engine, which is very, 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 very cool. But yeah, we'll get a couple of close ups in just a second. Uh, and it also does come with the additional pipe in that you might need. So that is pretty cool. So here is the rather diminutive uh, LSWR Terrier uh, in its very, very striking uh, sort of green and brown livery. Uh, is, to compare it with, uh, here is Hornby's 61XX tank engine. And as you can see, it absolutely dwarfs it. And if I can get another comparison, here is a standard sized Allen key and it's pretty much the, the same size. So yeah, very, very small tank engine and there is a lot of detail uh, on this model. Uh, but like I said, we're not gonna go through it uh, in extreme detail, but we will have a bit of a look. Uh, so as I was saying, it's a very, very nice livery. Uh, it's a very, it's sort of like, an, it's sort of like LNER apple green, I guess. Um, but obviously it's LSWR. Um, we've got very, very well done uh, black and white lining, uh, the printing of the name, number looks really really good uh, there's also lining uh, through the boiler uh, which looks very good as well it's an interesting choice of colors but it, it does work uh, the brown actually does, does complement it quite well uh, just take a look at the front you can see there's quite a lot of detail here um, we've got obviously we've got a uh, copper copper caps uh, chimney uh, we've got silver painting on a number of fixtures on the front uh, including the, the, the boiler door uh, the, the boiler clock and then this bit of hand railing on the top there. And you also see there's a couple of uh, separate fitted uh, bronze parts at the front there as well. You can see that number 725 is printed on the buff beam here, so that's pretty cool. Looks really good. Are they sprung buffers? No, they are not sprung buffers, uh, but I don't think my everything has to be sprung. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure sprung buffers might not even have been invented in real life until maybe after this engine because obviously this is a very old engine, being a Terrier, I think they were late 1880s, 1890s. So here's the other side, uh, you can see there's some piping here in bronze, you can also see there's some hand railing going along the top here. Uh, there's some very good detail uh, on here as well, we've got a number of bronze fixtures here including the whistle, uh, and then there's some more bronze on top of this boiler dome here. You can see the hatch there to open up and uh, get water put in uh, for the water tanks obviously inside the cab we can see a little bit uh, we can see there's a lot of detail in there uh, there's pressure valves there's separately painted um, parts in there as well levers brakes that sort of thing then on the back of the local we've got some very realistic looking coal uh, which is very very cool uh, you can see there's some decent riveting there as well quite a nice bit of detail and, and also we've got these sort of porthole shaped windows at the back we've also got a little box which i presume um, maybe carries tools and that sort of thing. Could be wrong though. And there's three mounts on the back here as well. Uh, there's one there, one there, one there uh, for mounting, um, you know, name plates, uh, name trains, head coats, that sort of thing. Right on the back buffer beam as well, uh, you can see that we've got number 735 written here again, uh, as well as a hook. And we've got some brake pipe in here as well. A look at the coaches now. First up, we've got the third class coach, uh, number 302. The SKU for this one is R40108. This is fitted with lights, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it as by taking um, this 
thing out of the bottom here that obviously makes it uh, no longer brand new and obviously uh, we only sell we only sell first hand stuff so I don't want to uh, ruin the mint condition uh, of these models. Okay so let's take a look at the LSWR uh, four wheel coach. Uh, so as you can see it's sort of a it's a brown and a, I don't know even what colour that is like a, a dark a dark beige maybe um, but you can see there is a lot of lining on this there's red lining uh, around pretty much all of the, the raised ridges. Uh, you can see that the uh, numbers and stuff have been tampo printed really well. You can see it says third class on the doors. Uh, we've got NSWR down here. Three, and NSWR rather. And we've got the number of the coach which is 302. You can't see inside. Uh, it's all been darkened obviously because it's fitted with light so you don't want any light bleed. Which is a common issue on Hornby models so I presume they've put in a bit of extra effort in uh, making sure making sure light bleed won't happen by making sure the inside's all dark. So on the roof uh, you can also see uh, we've got uh, three bits of moulded detail. Uh, just, I think they're pretty separately fitted actually attached to the top here. I presume these are vents uh, for each of the compartments. Uh, we've also got a handrail over here as well. Rotating the coach round, uh, we've got the piping here um, and we've got buffers uh, that are not sprung. Um, and obviously you've got the stand the coupling hook. And you can see there's a little bit of detail on here. There's some moulded uh, detail for mounting head codes and uh, tail lights to that sort of thing. And that is the same on this side as well. Uh, except this side, this side also has the addition of a number of steps so that uh, workers can obviously get up to the roof. Okay, so let's take a look at the brake coach now. Uh, the SKU for this one is R40110. And the Hornby brake coaches are, are really, really cool. Um, I'm actually a, a big fan of these. I think the designs are uh, really, really nice. Um, but as we saw on the last one, uh, it's obviously the same colour scheme, and we've got a lot of this, this red lining finely printed uh, pretty much everywhere. Uh, LSWR logo, we've got the guard compartment here. And we can see that the rest of this uh, coach is third class. Uh, the number 179 is there as well. But what is what, what I really like about um, the design uh, of these four-wheel coaches uh, is the brake coach has these windows at the end, um, which looks really, really cool. Um, so you can see that there is some detail in there, but again, the inside has to be blacked out, um, obviously for the interior lighting, uh, which unfortunately I can't show, but I'm hoping I can show in a future video uh, if I buy some of these myself, which, to be honest, I'm considering. But yeah, as you can see on this side, uh, we've got the large windows here. Uh, we've got the steps to get up on the roof, along with the accompanying handrail. And what's interesting is if we rotate it the other way, uh, you can see uh, that there is the, 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 the coach sort of goes outward um, so that the, the guard can sit in this compartment here and look down the full length of the train. So it's a very cool design. Uh, and then this end, uh, you've just got the base, it's just basic. Uh, you've got the three moulded uh, detail bits there uh, to mount the, the lights and stuff on. And you've got a pipe, bit of piping there. Uh, so that's the same as the other third class coach. So let's take this all down onto the layout now and give it a little bit of run around. As you can see, we're down here on the layout now. Um, even with the coach, it's a really nice small train. So this, this bundle would be perfect for anyone running a small layout like this one. Or even uh, a small shunting layout maybe, like what we are building here. Um, so yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get it running, and uh, I'll do a bit of a voiceover with my overall thoughts of this bundle. But so far, I'm very much considering getting one for myself. Okay, so if you were to use the five percent discount code that you can get from this video, uh, then this bundle will set you back one hundred and sixty-one pounds and forty-five pence, which I think is a pretty good price. Uh, you get the two coaches, you get a really stunning engine uh, and light-up coaches, nonetheless. Uh, so it probably works out, it's about £100 for the engine and about 30 quid each for the coaches, which is significantly lower than the Hornby RMP, so saving a lot of money there. But yeah, it's a great little set, great little set. It'd be brilliant for anyone running quite a small layout, uh, such as my roundy roundy layout, or even a shunting layout. Um, but yeah, you're saving money. Um, they're brilliant, brilliant looking models. Uh, I can't I can't fault them. I think the LSWR livery is absolutely stunning, and I highly, highly recommend uh, that you Get this, get this bundle, uh, and it's only while stocks last. Um, they're selling quite well, um, but we have three or three or four of these bundles uh, ready to go. So if you do get one, uh, you'll be delivered it absolutely rapidly, and it'll be worth it.